So ever since the very first UE Boom, way back in 2013, I remember that device, one of the best portable speakers for quite a while. Uh, Logitech's UE Boom speakers have literally set the standard in the market. Now the brand new Mega Boom 3 looks to continue that trend with a speaker system that has a lot packed into it. So let's start off with the design. You can see it looks a little trimmer, even though technically they said it's the same size. The aesthetics around the brand new Mega Boom 3 or the, or the UE Boom 3 is really nice and flush. You've got nice fabric with the two-tone color set. You still have that very standard volume up and down buttons that are quite massive in front, letting you know how to, of course, control it. That cylindrical, of course, shape and build uh, with 360 uh, sound, which is nice. You've also got a, a hook now, which is now basically sewn in with the fabric on the edge. So you can actually lift up and carry it that way, or maybe hook it to your bike or something like that, which is really, really cool. Now, uh, the top of the device houses, of course, all the controls. You've got your power control, which is right in front, uh, closer to the volume controls. And then you've got your Bluetooth button at the very back. And in the middle is the brand new magic button. And it does a lot of things. One, of course, is you know controlling your music by, of course, tapping to pause and play. But it's also got added functionality through the brand new UE Boom app, which allows you to do so much more. Now we know this app has allowed us to pair up to 150 speakers. We did about 10 or so. We couldn't do 115, but which is a really nice feature. Uh, but new features on the application add a little bit more. There's the ability to actually add your playlist to the UE Boom app, so you don't have to go to um, your phone anymore. You can actually cycle it through the uh, magic button. It's very simple. Uh, what you have to do is simply, of course, go ahead and add those playlists into your smartphone. Uh, and right now it's only with uh, Apple Music, but of course it will expand as that moves forward. But what you can do is simply by basically pressing and holding out for two seconds, you will cycle from one playlist to another. So I press and hold down for two seconds. I'm listening to Drake, I press and hold down, I move to an old school hip hop, press and hold down, I move to something else. I can go on continuously as I cycle through playlists, which allows me to listen to music seamlessly, especially if maybe I take this with me out on the go, um, say at a park or, or I'm out by the beach and I don't want to get to my phone. It's a really nice, simple and unique feature. I definitely like that. Now, the other thing, of course, we'll get to sound. I know you guys are probably thinking about that, is charging. Now, the charging plate is no longer underneath, but just at the bottom, we can flick and open that. It still charges via micro USB, which I find as a bummer. There's a chance to use USB type C and also introduce quick charging in there, but you can still charge your device, but it does have that adaptive wireless charging plate, which you can use from the previous uh, Mega Moon devices which is nice. Now, the other cool thing is that this also floats. Now you might think, okay, why do I care? I know it's water and dust resistant, that's fine. But what if you're on a boat or you're by the beach, somebody tosses into the water, it doesn't sink to the bottom. You can go ahead and pick up your device, which is actually pretty nice. Now, talking about sound, that's one of the main things we care about speakers, uh, because that's what they're supposed to do. How well does it actually sound? Well, take a listen. So there you have it. It sounds really, really good. The one thing I will say though, is that on higher volumes, when you get into the peak uh, max volume at 100%, the speakers tend to start bleeding out a little bit more. Uh, and that's something that might be driver issue. It could be something 
it can be fixed with software, but that's my current experience on the highest level. But you don't need to go max out to enjoy it. Plus you've got also a lot of custom EQs in the software to maximize how you want to listen to your music. Now the one thing I will, uh, would like to see in the future is them supporting Aptex HD so we can get better than CE quality off this. That being said though, this is a solid speaker. I do like what they have here, but it's a really tough competition and crowd out there uh, with what you have. Pricing, of course, is something that is uh, comparable to competitors, as you can see on screen. And I can tell you that this is a speaker that I do like because of its styling. It's simple to carry around. It doesn't look like a honk or clunk key speaker. It's something that you can take with you on a trip, you can take with you to the beach, and feels like it's part of your lifestyle. Plus, it provides some really good audio quality as well and some really unique features. So if you have any questions or any comments about the UE Boom speaker, and some of you are wondering, how does it compare to other speakers? We'll get to that. We'll have a comparison video for you coming soon. I'm heading to PAX West right now. I'm probably there while this video is actually on. So enjoy it. Take a look. Have any questions, leave them down below. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share this video. Favorite this video, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy your entertainment.